Hello everyone, welcome to the second Dark vs Light event video that will be uploaded to the channel. I do have a few more planned before the event actually ends in December 2nd, so stay tuned for those ones if you are enjoying the series. But for this one, I'm going to be talking about the Forcebound pack openings. So I have gone ahead and completed the Eternal tier, and instead of uploading the packs whenever I got them, like opening the, the 5 or the 10 in a, in a group and then uploading it, I decided to wait and just put it all into one video so you guys can truly get a sense of what these packs are and how good they were. And um, I guess over over the um, while the packs are opening in the background, I'll just be talking about my thoughts on it and some of the really good stuff I got because I did end up getting some really good stuff among all the junk. I would say like 20% of the stuff was good that I'm probably gonna end up using, and then 80% was just complete junk. But um, yeah, the point is these packs I guess are meant to be just a nice side perk. I wouldn't go ahead and do the event if I was just getting the packs. My primary motivation was the companion itself. That's why I only, I'm only going to Eternal Tier. I'm not even going to look at Legendary. That's way too much work and way too grindy. I'm, you know, I don't want to ruin my experience of the game by just doing the stuff I don't actually want to do. But the Eternal Tier was doable and I made it there just for the companion. And these packs were actually a really nice perk. And to some extent, these packs are geared towards players like me. And what I mean by that is, I myself, although I have tons of credits and could unlock some of the really rare stuff, I have like Arbiter Sabers, Volatile Conquer Sabers in my inventory. Um, the, the thing is, I don't really unlock them. I just kind of let them sit there. If I have one good saber that I like to use on a character, I just keep that saber there. I don't like unlock other ones. And so this, uh, that's why these packs are so great for me because all the stuff out of here is bind on pickup which means if I get something really cool, I'm kind of forced to use it because there's no point in just putting it in your inventory. It's already bound to you, so you might as well use it and unlock it in collections for a certain character. Uh, but on the other hand, the chances of you getting some of the really good stuff was pretty low. What you just saw was I opened the Heroic tier and the Champion tier. That's 15 packs. I didn't get a single gold item. But finally, as you guys are going to see here, I don't even get a gold item. I actually end up getting a platinum item. Um, I think it's this pack right now. And right there is the Unstable Arbiter Saber. So I did end up getting that super rare, awesome drop. Um, and so now I, I use that on my Sith Warrior. Some of you guys might have noticed. At first, I didn't actually like the Arbiter Saber. I thought the hilt looked really ugly. But obviously, the Unstable effect was really nice. And I decided to go ahead and use it. And the more I used it, actually, the, the hilt kind of grew on me. I thought how big the hilt was and its design was very nice. And so now I actually love that Saber. So it's funny how that worked out. But still, not even a single gold item. So I just opened... 15 and then uh, so what is that 35 packs and I actually got one platinum item but I didn't even get a gold item yet so that goes to show that these gold items from these packs are super super rare um, and the other thing is and one of the reasons I love these packs is because it's as I mentioned before even with the dark versus light packs on the cartel market they're just jam-packed with really good items as you guys can see I didn't end up getting the white crystal and um, and actually end up, end up getting another one, which is unfortunately the Exiled Master Supplementary Body Armor. So this pack opening is giving me a lot of gold stuff, but just because it's gold doesn't mean it's going to be good. Uh, once again, exemplified here with the Revan's Lower Body Armor. You might think, oh, Revan, that's a good drop, but not really. The Lower Body Armor you can pick up off the GTN for under a million credits, and so there's really no point in wasting you know, a pack item. Some of the silver stuff would be better to get out of this pack than something like the Revan Lower. But, uh, but as I was saying, the reason I love these packs is because when it pulses, you know it's going to be a gold item. And with these dark versus light packs, all Bioware has done is said, look, we're going to put junk in these packs, but we're also going to take some of the rarest, coolest, most sought after armor pieces and stick them all in this pack. And basically what that means is when that your thing starts to pulse and you know it's going to be a gold item, get excited because the chances are it's going to be a really, really good item. And as you guys can see earlier, I got Zozan's upper body armor. And when I first saw that, I was a little bit like, ugh, I don't have any female characters, so what use is that going to be of to me? But then I saw what it looked like on the GTN, and it's actually a really nice upper body armor. So I can see why that sells for like 15 million credits. Um, I just got another junkie piece there. I got the Ceremonial Mystic. Now that you can pick up for like under 500k, so that's useless. But here we got an amazing drop, the Volta Conquers lightsaber, and that's what I was talking about. Even though I have like five of those sitting in my inventory, I haven't unlocked them. And so it's pretty awesome that now I got it from these packs because it's bind on pickup, which means I'm kind of forced to use it on a character. And since it's a really nice lightsaber, I'm probably going to end up using it and it's going to look amazing. So that's pretty awesome. But yeah, that is the end of this video. Overall, my thoughts on the pa packs are don't do the Dark vs. Light event just for the packs. These packs are kind of just a nice perk. Uh, because the chances are you're not really going to get what you want. Like, yeah, let's say you want to do the Dark versus Light event just to get the Revan Reborn supplementary. Well, the chances of you getting that are super low. I just opened 55 packs, didn't even get, 
you know, any piece of the Revan Reborn. So you can't open these packs with the hopes of getting a single item. It's more just you open them and you see what you get. And that's why it was so great for players like me or maybe other players who didn't have a lot of things unlocked because, um, once again, really geared towards new players that are just starting the game because, uh, you know, anything you get out of these is really gold for you. It's really useless, you know, getting the Volta Conqueror's lightsaber for someone who's already unlocked in their collections. And you basically just have to destroy it because there's absolutely no point in getting that out of a pack. And so those veteran players who had lots of things unlocked were basically screwed by this. But for new players and for players like me who didn't have anything unlocked, this, these packs are actually really quite good. Anyways, those are my thoughts on the packs. I do hope you guys enjoyed the pack opening video. I'll see you in the next one.